Pai. It is an honour and a pleasure and a privilege to have you here sharing time with us today. Um, I'm always in awe of people that um, lead and make time for people like us that are growing and need support and need encouragement. Um, it's such a critical part of this journey. Uh, it can be very lonely if we choose it to be that way, or we can be blessed with amazing company, um, amazing support. We've just got to reach out. And so it was lovely today that Marie was able to reach out and ask you to come and share your journey with us. So I'm, I'm going to let you inspire and tell us all about the journey of uh, this life with Life Vantage and you. Yes, yeah, so thank you, thank you. Wonderful, Jen, thank you. And it's uh, such, first of all, it's such an honor and privilege to be invited in your amazing table talk, which um, actually demonstrates true leadership. How and why? Guys, be proud of yourself because it only takes one to create a movement, right? And Miri here, listen to her heart. She initiated the idea and supported by other visionaries like you guys. So boom, you just created a great movement. And so be proud of that because this amazing table talk is all about empowerment, inspiration, which the world truly needs right now. Winning. Does God want us all to win? Heck yes, <laughs> but in a good way. So here I am. Uh, I'm gracing your show for the first time because Miri and I started a conversation through Messenger I was talking about a while ago. She and I actually got attracted to my movement and my cause. And so I responded. So right now we identify the common ground and we both believe in making this world a better place. So now she is supporting my line at heart freedom journey, helping people to become the voice for the voiceless, hoping to discover greatness and courage within. So thank you again, Jen. And I am so excited to share with all of you my heart today, mm -hmm. as well as my knowledge in building a successful business. Because at the end of the day, you will realize that leading with your heart is what we all need because our heart will never lie. Okay, so moving on, on to leadership and entrepreneurship. I believe that becoming successful is not about how talented you are. It is actually how tough you are because in order to achieve great things in life, you guys, you have to fight for it. And sadly, every day, every single day, because the daily grind is both mental and physical. In fact, you have to realize that it is more mental than physical. Physical is the ability, um, uh, physical ability is important, but uh, sometimes it will only take you so far. Is that correct? Because you won't achieve excellence until you train your mind. That's right. Your mind will take you where you want to be because we demand effort and there are consequences, consequences if you don't give it. So it's all about mindset, you guys. It is necessary to cultivate that mind to develop that courage to move on and do something. And so I want you to remember this because I got this from my great mentor, Anthony Reyes. He says, winners will always find a way to win. And if you read my book, you will discover all the hardships that I have gone through in order to end up a winner. Did I graduate with master's degree? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Did I read numerous leadership books? Honestly, no. Did I spend huge amount of budget attending huge events or classes with like Tony Robbins, John Maxwell in the past in mastering the skills of blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying it's not good. It's actually wonderful if you can afford it. They are good and I follow most of them, especially Jim Rohn's leadership myself, you know? But realize this, guys, their knowledge are also found online. It's the cheapest, you know? They are everywhere. You can listen to their YouTube videos and read articles about their leadership. But don't overtrain yourself. Instead, put those golden nuggets that you hear and watch in action, especially like me. I had little to no resources growing up, right? So I can't afford leadership classes. <laughs> what will I do, you know? What did I do? At the end of the day, I decided to associate myself with successful people. I surrounded myself with winners. Honestly, I love people. But if they do not add value in my life and 
they rather drag me down and make my life miserable. What I do is I slowly shy away from them politely from them. And then I literally focus on positive people and surrounded myself with positive people. Then ultimately I became a winner like them. Is it overnight? No, 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 it's not overnight. It took time. I failed over and over. It was tough. It was a tough journey, but the difference is I was committed. Okay. So he said, my mentor said, success needs no explanation. And I love that. And I want to share that with you because there is no secret ingredients to success. You guys, again, quit spending money, attending classes to discover the secret to success. There is no secret to success except to allow yourself to fail, which means you ought to be willing to take action. Do it. Just like Nike said, just do it. Don't let others do it. Because if you do let others do it, they're going to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do the action yourself and expect to fail like I did in the past. It hurts. Try it again. It hurts. Try it again. Practice until you are numb that it does not hurt anymore. And don't disregard your hardships in life for it will shape you well. And it did to me. Another golden nugget. Take this down. Failure needs no alibi. You are a success because you want it bad enough and you know where you're going. Plus, your why is so huge. Nothing will stop you. So my biggest advice is before taking a journey or taking a huge project, like for example, Life Vantage, find a good reason to fight for something. That's your first homework. And if you don't, you will fail. Why? Because you will quit. You will not sustain it because of the massive obstacles that you will face throughout the journey. I am originally from the Philippines, youngest of the four siblings. I live a life of poverty. At age 25, I was summoned to take responsibility for my two parents and two grandparents. At age 33, I became a single mom only after being married for three years, but blessed with my one and only son, Nico. He became my biggest inspiration. He was my why. And by the grace of God, I broke the chain of poverty in my family. Through hard work and dedication, I became a successful corporate executive. And uh, later, I was blessed to operate an exclusive UK-based company in Asia. I created a successful channels of distribution throughout my Easeling telecommunications company, which truly gave me a great lifestyle. It was in 1998, you guys. Life was good. Recession came. I was invincible. But things changed when I decided to remarry and migrate with my son in the U.S. in 2003. I married Greg and sold my company and left my entire life in Manila and begun a new life here in the U.S. And in 2004, we began our Bridge of Hope ministry project, supporting St. Rita Orphanage in the Philippines. And in 2017, up to present, we added the priesthood mission in Diocese of Tanzania in order to mark and remember where I came from. And it's also, in addition, living a life neutralized by prayers. That's actually number 11, uh, no, 10 chapter of my book. So being a stay-at-home mom in the U.S. for five years, I got bored. And in 2008, I found myself as a successful business banker at Wells Fargo Bank, but was unhappy not getting paid my worth. Modesty aside, my productivity was equivalent to three bankers, but was only getting paid as one banker. But it's okay. I've made a choice long before not to stay in a cubicle skin. Literally, I only work as an employee in the U.S. for three years. That's a miracle because I didn't want to work until I'm 65 and not having that financial freedom like many others have. I believe in prosperity but I believe in hard work at the same time. I believe in winning in life because life is short. We ought to seek for freedom. And when we achieve it, mark our freedom. For I believe that God did not create people to own people. So I began searching for a better way to be able to run my own show like I did before in Asia, instead of uh, continuing to work and build someone else's dream, right? So in 2011, I embraced network marketing business model for the first time. 
I was reluctant at first, but I did my job to understand it well. It has been such a glorious ride ever since. And why? Because here it is. I opted to listen, not to listen to the naysayers. I took the responsibility to learn it and got all my questions and doubts answered. Then after 10 years, here's our takeaway with our network marketing journey. Greg and I wake up together. We travel together since he retired last November, 2019 and turn his back away from the corporate world for the last 37 years. Thank God it's not 40, 50, 60 years, right? Because the company he worked for 19 years laid him off after six months while he was fighting for his life, battling stage three brain cancer. We lost our medical insurance. He hit rock bottom. And by the grace of God, it's been five years right now. He is cancer free and our network marketing business kept us afloat. It paid us every single month, every 15th of the month. So another takeaway, Life Vantage also sent us to various international local resorts like Bahamas, Hawaii, Ireland, Boulders Resort, Arizona, Park City, Utah, and many others with all expenses paid. No companies would do that for their employees right now, right? Another victory. Last June 30th, I recently published my book, Lion at Heart, Discovering Courage and Greatness Within. It is a book on leadership, personal, and spiritual growth. I simply wrote a book because I believe that a book is an opportunity to use our voice for the voiceless. Life Vantage, you guys, transformed me into a whole new human being, becoming an inspirational speaker, taking the stage in front of thousands of people. That is for me, is priceless. So if any one of you wish to achieve greatness in life, here it is. I'd like to share with you this powerful quote that Miri wanted me to share with you uh, that I got from Vessels of Honor. And it says here, rarely is a lack of time that cause of lack, rarely is the lack of time the cause of our failure. It is usually a lack of commitment to use the time we have profitably. So how can we use time profitably? Number one, write this down, set goals. Goal setting is crucial for anyone, for everyone. Set a good time management strategy. Number one, identify your mission and vision. What is your cause? Who or what you are fighting for or what you wish to achieve? Itemize your goals or tasks that you need to accomplish. Second, prioritize wisely. Use your time wisely. Once you've set your goals, boom, determine the individual tasks you need to complete to achieve them. It's time to prioritize, okay? Just knock out the first and the most important task that you ought to complete and then commit to it, commit to it, and if it needs consistency, then do it consistently. Tackle the trivial things later. The third, just say no. Learn to say no. At first, honestly, I couldn't say no. I'm afraid to say no, because I'm afraid to offend people or to displease them, but it's gonna hurt you. Yeah, it's gonna hurt you, it hurts me in the end, because if I fail to do so, if I fail to do something that I said I'm going to do, then I lose their trust, right? Mm -hmm. You lose your trust. And once you lose the trust of other people, that's it. Integrity is gone. And if you push yourself to accommodate others at your expense, then it's also gonna hurt yourself because you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be uh, taking away your time from, from your goals. And that is not good, right? So learn how to be honest and know when to say no, and they will respect you for that. Number four, plan ahead. Scheduling, blocking your time, establish a plan, get the calendar set, and eliminate distractions. Those are the excuses, obstacles, and detractors. Okay, question. Do you want to achieve success truly? Okay, if you do, then get rid of these three words in your vocabularies. Obstacles, excuses, and detractors. Why? Number one, obstacles. Find a solution. When it's fixed, get over it. Move on and plug back into your mission and vision. 
and then relaunch your life or relaunch your life vantage business. Next, excuses, stop being lazy. Stop procrastinating. You're hurting no one but yourself. Make a choice, make a decision. And once you do, consistent execution plus action 100% is needed. Never look back. Third, detractors, you cannot please everyone, you guys. They will do everything to find something wrong with you. Make them invisible in your life because you only get hurt when you allow people to hurt you. Go past them or stay away from them. Because if you listen and you always pay attention to their lies, it will weaken you and you will fail. Why make them win? And then the fifth is take time for yourself. Oh, this is where I'm bad. You know, sometimes I forget myself because I'm just too busy. But lately I have been really taking time for myself, for Greg, dating, exercise, you know, things like that. Uh, I do that and shopping, you know, things like that. That makes me happy. All right. Take time for yourself. Six is think about what matters most to you. Always stick with your why. Revisit them to stay the course. What matters to you? What is important to you? What is important in your life that you cannot negotiate? Seventh, focus. Focus on high um, leverage activities, you know, because trivial matters can wait. So you've got to focus on income producing activities so that you will be productive, right? And eight is know how little time you have, you know, and live accordingly. There's, there's an urgency, you know, if you don't set uh, a little bit of urgency in your life, you're going to take things for granted, right? And also balance, like live a life neutralized by prayer. I always include God in my, in every speech because I promise God that if he allows me to become a speaker, uh, to inspire people, I will always take him. <laughs> so you know what, because you have to take time to worship, to honor and give thanks to the Lord. Lead with your heart because your heart never lies. So back to you, uh, Jen. Uh, I will be open to uh, some questions and, uh, that you may have and everybody here uh, on this um, meeting right now. Thank you and I hope that I gave some valuable information to you guys and have shared my story of success and uh, some tips on how to use your time valuably. Oh, thank you, Kai honestly inspirational and I was flat out writing as I'm sure everybody else was I think the thing is is that um Kai we can all get busy and being busy on things that aren't impacting people's lives right so I love the fact about you've talked about today about focus and the thing about staying focused on your life purpose I guess finding your life purpose and then staying focused and not being distracted and uh uh, you know, some of the people on here will certainly know I'm, I, I, I live a full life, but the gaps <laughs> that I, yeah, I, I really do, but the gaps that I have, I take them and I use them for the good, you know, to impact on people's lives. So I love your story and sharing today because I really feel, um, you know, we have obstacles in this business where people say, I don't have the time and, and I'm worried about what people are going to say and people don't believe me and we get knocked a lot, right? But you've got to rise up above it and stand in your truth and walk in your truth. And, and as you've shared today, Kai, it, it happens and it involves and people are impacted. And when we're from the heart, when we have empathy, when we're authentic, when we keep our credibility, this, uh, this journey is not so bad, you know, like when you get there. But I love the fact that you shared with us that you've had major obstacles in your journey and you just get up, rise again, and away you go again. And I, I think that's the big thing People hit obstacles, Kai, and they go a bit flat, they go off the boil. But what they've got to remember, and what we've all got to remember, is we're here to impact on lives, animals' lives, people's lives. And if we give up, we're giving up on everybody. We're the messenger, and we need to share our stories and, and help people. So I, I've just been so inspired by you. I, I, Marie has been sending me um, extracts out of your book. Um, <laughs> And it's been amazing. All these little paragraphs, I'm going, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So I, I hope <laughs> others here today are going to invest in your book. But look, I'd love to open the floor to uh, questions and answers. Are you okay with that, Kai? Can we? Can we? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
But allow me to just uh, validate what your statements a while ago is that truly it's, it's hard because, uh, uh, you know, hardships in life are going to knock us down and uh, a lot of uh, negativity, human nature, you know, we are bombarded by a lot of uh, disappointments, down moments. And that's the reason, Jen, we are here to lock arms together with people who share the same values, core values, and people who are willing to lift up one another. We've got to have a strong community. Table talk is beginning to flourish. And I have my line of freedom journey as well. And uh, you can be a part of it as well because we need people around us. We cannot do anything in life just alone by ourselves. That is, a, that is just a lie. If they think that they can do it alone by their, themselves, no. We need people around us and we need a lot of good people, positive people to take us to where we're going. Thank you. Mm, so true, Kai. And I've had a lesson in that. And I'm very blessed as uh, all of us in our line here in New Zealand, we have a fabulous uh, leader, Marie Hampton. Um, and, you know, we're supported. Um, Marie, myself and Faye Rogers, we support each other. And we're growing this an amazing network of amazing people that do want to impact. And one of our lessons is learning about hanging out with the right people. It's not selfish. Uh, just you know it's not selfish which you know we can go oh you know we we need to be there for everybody but you know what we're just the messengers and I think that's the key thing I've taken from your your sharing with us today is that even the greatest of the great uh, Kai respect to you uh, we still have to make these choices that we can't be everything to everybody and we need to take our time we have and be the messenger and reach out to the people that embrace us and believe in what we're sharing and doing and then they will go off and impact on more people and those people will go and impact on more people so it's taken a while it takes a while to get one's head around that but that but yeah i i certainly have learned through marie Faye, and and our, our great team here in new zealand and australia very powerful woman wanting to make a difference and impact but listen i could talk for hours and i'm not going to i'm going to open the floor so please Buy some questions at Kai. I just know that she'll she'll love helping us. Oh, we're running out of time. Let me just upgrade. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ray, I'm sure you'd love to ask Kai some questions. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Kai, what you shared was absolutely just what we needed to hear. You know. Thank you. We need great people in our lives and that's our choice right we choose right and life vantage is just a phenomenal vehicle bringing phenomenal people together doing great things and i just love it i just love it i didn't know what i else love it yeah absolutely do. you know when you're surrounded by great people kai i remember seeing you on stage <laughs> right was it pro eight or pro seven that, you that was pro eight. Uh, if it's in North Carolina or South Carolina, that was a pro eight. But if it's in Kansas, that was uh, I was a pro seven during that time when I was in the state. So you reached out to other leaders because you didn't have an upline to support you. Is that right? Oh, that was right. I I actually put them on stage. Yes. Yeah, that was just phenomenal. And your son, you know, he's at your heart. Why you do what you do. Tell us about, about your son. We'd love to hear about him. How old is he? My, my son? Your son. Which one? Your son, Nico. Oh, my son. Well, I, I thought, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, my son is 27 years old, and uh, he's always been my greatest supporter, just like my dad. My dad was my best friend. And that's the reason why I dedicated my Lion at Heart book to four men in my life. Number one, Jesus. Second is my best friend, my ever supporting, loving uh, father, and then Nico and Greg. But Nico is such an instrument for me to break the chain of poverty. Without him, I, I would not know. Probably I would still flourish, but he was, he was my instrument to kind of like push forward. And I will not negotiate for anything to give him like a mediocre life. I promise God that I will definitely give him and create a lifestyle that I wanted in my life because Nico is so special to me and he is such a wonderful, wonderful person. 
I believe that you have also read his uh, open letter, uh, which is in my book. And that was a relationship, a genuine relationship with mother and son who cherish and who has uh, trusted each other, you know, since birth and up to now. We have no secrets. And he will tell me honestly if I am, you know, mm, doing the right thing or wrong thing that he believes that I have to tweak something. He will definitely, he's my, my biggest critique. And at the same time, I also, uh, I'm so honest with him because that's the reason why all of our uh, plans in life is flourishing because uh, we have trusted each other and he will be there for me. They spoil me, actually. My boys spoil me. My father spoiled me. Uh, Nico spoils me. Uh, he would, he would, he's such a, a thoughtful person. He always thinks of his mom and Greg spoils me. And for me, having to have and to hold like that special people around you um, is good enough for me to mm -hmm. move forward and to not, um, to knock out all the detractors or all the, the negative things that uh, is coming my way. Because as human beings, you know, um, we are going to, we need constant reminder. We need constant reminder like this, for example, the table talk, because sometimes we tend to forget, you know, okay, we heard about Kai in, inspiring us, but up, after the end of the day, you know, the memory, the re retention of our memory, uh, probably 5% after 24 hours, you only retain 5% of the memory that I said. So constant communication, constant uh, uh, reminders of what we need to prioritize in life will actually definitely will shape us. So we need leaders. We need strong leaders, uh, genuine leaders, benevolent leaders in our life in order for us to lead a quality of life, to lead a successful life. Back to you, Mire. I think Mire's uh, frozen, I think, Kai. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, there she goes. She's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Kai. You know, the world, the world's a different place, right? And first and foremost is our families. We don't know what's going to happen down the road. And, you know, it's just a, the greatest gift what we've been given. And we want our friends, our family to know about it. So we're, we're just all excited. We can't thank you enough, Kai. Um, do we have time for any any more questions there, Jen? Uh, a little bit of time. I'm not sure when it's going to. Uh, remaining four minutes. So, um, uh, yeah, that my, my Zoom, um, I haven't done a Zoom upgrade. I've just got the ba basic package. So let's make the most of four minutes. We'd love to hear some questions from some other people. Don't be shy. Kai is just so open to be able to help us and share knowledge. So who would like to, who would like to ask a few questions? I have a question. Um, hi, thank you so much. I was just about crying nonstop when you're talking because it's so inspirational. So it was good tears and so moving. Um, my question is like sometimes, you know, we're really self-motivated and we're out there to help so many and sometimes we hit the wall. When that happens, what steered you through it or, you know, what gave you the courage to climb over it? Yeah. The courage to get and achieve my goals. Is yep. that right, Faye? Yes. Yes. That's a great question. Um, I was just getting teary eyed because I just wanted to share my heart with you guys. My, my journey in life, as well as in business, was very tough. I experienced a lot of detractors. I've experienced a lot of people who love to put down people, especially if they're invisible. My family was once invisible. And that question is really meaningful to me because what made me go through life with constant punching left and right on my face and I just fall down on my knees. And uh, because I believe in myself, I believe that I'm a child of God and I believe that proving to all these people that I, that I am going to achieve greatness in life. 
without any revenge, without any bad feelings towards all these people because I love the people who love me and who hurt me and my family at the same time. You may not believe it, but I love them both because without these people who put us down, I would never be, I would never have this, this, this courage to fight that and to be able to become successful. And though for those people who loved me and supported me and was there on my side during my struggles, they were my inspiration. They were my strength. I just hear their, their words, their positive words, and I am recharged again. Because when, when people knock me down, I go to the positive people who love me. And then all of a sudden, I go through life again. And there goes other people who are just looking to just tarnish you, to put you down, because they want you to fail. I am not going to fail. So if I can talk you out to yourselves, say to yourselves, no one is going to take you down. You cannot fail. Because if you really, if you really accept God as your savior, who can be against you? How can a child of light fail? We could conquer the world. And I will not stop because every year, every other year, if you notice my book, I never, I never, I, 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 I did not hesitate to leave and to, 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 um, to sacrifice all my, 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 the things that I want in life. I wanted to be a, in, in modeling, in, in TV advertising. I had to sacrifice that because I have to be money driven because I'm not going to be able to feed my, my family because I take my family, my priority. So you know what? You have to focus on your goals because people are gonna hurt you. They're not going to be there to pay your bills. They're not going to be there during your times of struggles, but they want you to lose. But in your moment of, of, of uh, success, they will also be the one who will not be there because they are envious and they are jealous. But jealousy, don't let jealousy and enviousness take place in your